everyone and welcome to Flower Shop Winter in Fairbrook where it's wintry and chilly and sexy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Kenny is here with me. Hello. Hello. And I just moved in my chair and creaked over his awesome introduction. Hello. Hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? And we're going to continue on. Remember, we're in Susanna's shop, but Susanna is going to be working with the flowers, and we're going to be delivering stuff to the library. And once again, I haven't set my timer. Hang on. Remember, this is winter in Fairbrook, where we are not Steve. We are... Natalie. Natalie. And we're going to hopefully become a better person through the magic powers of Fairbrook. Yeah, Fairbrook is just like, it absorbs into your bits and makes you special awesome. So let's hit the timer. Bam. Okay. okay, maybe she does have a reason to wake me up, but she didn't have to be so mean about it, though. You were kind of crappy. <laughs> I kick at the snow as I wander across the icy street to the library. Like, actually thinking about it, she promised that she would get up. Yeah. And so ne or, uh, Susanna has no reason to trust her at this point. No. God. <laughs> and I'm swallowing so I can get rid of like the flemminess so I can Stop do this about voice. Flem. Flem. Stop it. Flem. <laughs> Flem. <clears throat> there we go. That actually helped. <laughs> it's only a few blocks away. She really can't just deliver this herself. I'm gonna slap your boob. Oh, the library looks bad. What happened? <laughs> is it I think just dark? Steve went on a rampage. Is it just dark though, or what? I don't know. It looked better in the other game, I thought. Maybe. Look, they color coded the fo their folders. Yeah. The library is small but cozy. A nice place for a nap. Hello, may I help you? She's got to be the librarian. Look at those glasses. Definitely a librarian. I'm loving this top part mm -hmm. here. <laughs> Not so much this down here. It's, it's okay. Like, like black and brown. I like it. Black and brown? Yeah. It's like, that's like a five-day-old bruise. Um, hey! I've got this lunch from, uh, Susanna. Oh, of course. Thank you very much. My name is Marion. I'm the librarian here. Haha, <laughs> Marion, the librarian. So everyone you meet has to mention that. <laughs> it, has, it has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Her response is quick and practice. I guess she's heard that joke before. Oh, yeah. No, she's like, what, 28 years old? <laughs> of course she's heard that joke. You must be the new girl helping Susanna with a shop this year. Yep, I'm Natalie. Although I haven't actually done anything yet except to bring you lunch. Well, it's appreciated. <laughs> Hi, did I hear someone mention lunch? Oh, that's great. I love that one. <laughs> I also love his cable sweater. <laughs> A young man with dirty blonde hair appears before me without warning. Hey buddy, I want to lick your face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeep! Whoa, are you okay? I've decided already, he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting you. Sorry about that. He leans down to get a library book for my- Oh, <laughs> to get a better look at my face. <laughs> Look, I thought library stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's because you almost said to get a library book from my face. No, no, that's exactly what I thought it said. <laughs> it didn't occur to you that that is fucked up? That's weird, I know. I was like, maybe she <laughs> fell and a book fell on her face. I thought, okay, there's the connection. Okay. Oh, you're the new girl. Natalie, right? Susie mentioned you were mentioned you were coming in. Oh, he's on uh, <laughs> informal terms with Susanna. Susie? Does he mean Susanna? I'm Trent, by the way. Susie's my little sister. Oh, okay. There oh, okay. He's the guy. Yeah, he's Trent. Trent, right? Clara mentioned that Susanna had a brother. She neglected to include the part where he's incredibly cute, though. Why would she say that? <laughs> Like, Clara could say that. Like, oh, Clara. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was going to say if Susanna said that, she'd be like, hey, I'm really pissed at you, but my brother's wicked hot. <laughs> um. I try to respond, but I can't really think of anything useful to say. <laughs> Marion? Trent looks away from me. Yes? Your editor is on the phone right now. He wants to talk about the contest. Oh, of course. 
Marion hurries off to the back of the library. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I love that. <clears throat> Editor? Trent grins proudly. Yep, Marion's a pro writer. Poet, actually. She's, a gre she's the guest judge for a poetry competition in a literature magazine right now. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> I see. Not just a professional writer, but someone good enough to be a judge. She, she's really impressive. That's really cool. Oh, do you like poetry? No. <laughs> er, oh. poetry? I don't know the first thing about it. Well, except that I think it's kind of boring. <laughs> See, oh. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't lie to a guy just because... Just because. <laughs> don't do it. So. So it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I don't really get it uh, most of the time. Poetry is too confusing for me. I'm better with people just saying things straight out. He likes her. He, He's okay he with approves. That. Huh, I hear you there. Honestly, I can't st understand a word of it either. Really? Then why are you here? I work here. <laughs> I wonder if the poetry's in like that Nell language or something. <laughs> you work here? Well, sorta. Marion's really busy with her writing, so I help out at the library from time to time. Okay, I love that Natalie is consistently confused by people having jobs. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of privilege. You work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice of you. Isn't it? He laughs. Uh -huh. I'm such a nice guy, huh? Oh, boy. Well, I won't keep you and your niceness any longer. Have fun at work. You too. How I work. <laughs> he seems much too cheerful for someone at work. No doubt he's here for other reasons. Oh my god. I glance at the back of the library. Marion's still on the phone. I don't think she'll mind if I leave. Well, that was interesting. I feel like I made a complete fool of myself in there, though. Across the street from me, I see a small general store. Hmm, Susanna didn't say I had to be back right away, did she? Oh, God. I, it couldn't hurt just to pop in for a short look. And there's an available boy in there. Oh. What's wrong with this place? There's bananas. It's just not drawn that well. Not bananas. It Eat. looks like impressionist art. No. There's food on the I shelf. Yeah, the pharmacy right in the back. <laughs> hello? I poke my head into the store and look around. I like that she said hello before she put her head into the store. <laughs> it's fairly small, but the shelves are stocked high with pretty much everything. Not really. No, it's like one level. Is anyone here? Ooh. Oh. What's he gonna sound like? Um. Uh, I've used my two voices. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to practice one, we can cut it out. Do you want me to do his voice? No, I'm, I can do it. I'm a professional. I like, the, <laughs> I like the lower one. I sure hope so. Yeah, there they go. There you go. I sure hope so. It's kind of like Trent, but lower. I sure hope so. <laughs> is, he, is he skipping? <laughs> <laughs> a young man with neatly combed hair and glasses appears from behind a shelf. I wouldn't say that's neatly combed. Yeah, for anime. True, anime bedhead. Looking for something in particular? Um, no, just browsing. He approaches me and looks up me up and down carefully. From the look in his eye, it seems like he's processing something. Whether or not he thinks you are hot. That one banana's facing the wrong way, it's <laughs> bothering me. Finally, he arrives <laughs> at his conclusion. I haven't seen you before. I like the breathy thing. Well, yeah, I'm I Natalie. Just yeah, you okay. just did the, I haven't seen you before. <laughs> Ah, of course. The new girl working for Susanna. Yeah, that's good. Ugh, why does everyone in this place have to refer to me as the new girl? They love that show. Yeah. Yes, that would be me. He doesn't seem to notice the hint of annoyance in my voice. <laughs> He's just grinning at you. Well? Yes? <laughs> this is the part where you tell me your name. My name's Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. I'm sure the same is true of you. Mm -hmm. He nods and smiles. Her name is also Ryan? No, it's nice <laughs> to meet you. Pretty uh, nice to meet you. Well, what? it's by the front door. What is? The supplies that Susanna ordered. You're here to pick them up, aren't you? Oh, we're gonna get some Susie points. Yeah! Huh? 
Oh, yeah. Sure, why not? I shrug. Maybe Susanna will forgive me for this morning if I bring her whatever it is, it is this is. I'm not really in the mood to leave so soon, though. So, um, do you live here? Uh, to some extent. <laughs> what do you mean? I attend college out of state, but I reside with my family here when school is not in session. That's cool. What are you studying? Biology. Reproduction. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Are you going to be a biologist? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the stupidest question. Nope, I love music. <laughs> it's my dream to be an actor. <laughs> he shrugs. <sighs> I don't know. It just seems an interesting field of study. I'm spending all this money to get a degree that I'm not going to use. Jelly beans! More? Or are those those mints? Mints. Those weird mints. mints. Ooh, yarn. Let's yep, do some knitting. Yarn. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm interrogating him. He doesn't seem interested in sharing information unless I ask him directly. I want that sweater vest. That is some hot shit right there. Can he... I cosplay him? Yes, you should. <laughs> okay. If you haven't seen Kenny, Kenny has that like haircut and his hair is also black. Oh. And he wears glasses. And he always looks annoyed, so it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if he's annoyed or not though. In fact he doesn't seem to care either way. Um. Mm? Mm? Stick around. Stick around. Look at that contrast stitching. Annoying. <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to ask him, so I turn my attention to the store. I'm gonna buy one of these towels. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. What is this? Merchandise. S spices? It's merchandise. <laughs> Merch. <laughs> this is a nice store. Is it? Oh my god. These two are perfect for each other. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of stuff in it. Ryan doesn't answer. He seems to be staring at me. He's undressing me with his eyes. Something wrong? I don't know. I'm just wondering why you're still here. Doesn't Susanna need her supplies? Oh, sir. I don't want to lick your face. <laughs> I guess. I just don't feel like going back right away. Oh. 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 No. oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you're working right now. It's not a vacation. Yeah, well, you're the one standing here being a pee pants, okay? It's called customer service. <laughs> fine, fine, I get it. I'm going. Why did she look so happy there? Why is everyone around here so uptight? Because mm, they all have jobs, and when, she doesn't understand. When the relationship went down, was it still the nice music? Yeah, it was. It was? Yeah, why? Oh. it's supposed to be like... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I, I can't hear the music, so... <laughs> Yeah, we need to get a splitter for our headphones. I pick up the package beside the door and make a great display of lugging it out. Ryan doesn't seem that impressed. I kick open the door and head out. So Steve punches thing and she kicks. <laughs> I walk carefully along the icy ground. The box I'm carrying is large, so I can barely see my feet. I stare at the ground intently, placing each step with precision. I step on a particular icy path of ground and my foot slips out from under me. <laughs> Eek! Whoa! Oh, we're saved by a boy. A boy <laughs> with brown hair steps forward and places a hand on my shoulder to help steady me. It looks like Kurama. Oh. Um. <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I like that. It's Was great. that too much like Jacob? No. Okay. No, it's different. Um, yeah, thanks for that. You look like you could use a little help. <laughs> he points to the box I'm carrying. Want me to carry that? <laughs> no, I can't do it. No, 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 it's, it's <laughs> awesome. You sound like Michael Crawford in Phantom of the Opera. Oh, okay. It's awesome. Never saw <clears throat> it. <laughs> oh, yes, please. I quickly dump the box into his outstretched hands. It's nice to meet you. My name's Natalie. Oh, you must be. <laughs> yeah, the new girl. I know. He blinks and bursts out laughing. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say Clara's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Wait, oh, it's Steve! No! It's, it's Steve. not Steve, is it? It's Steve! His hair's changed color. Well, he dyed it. 
You did it, Hannah. Well, Watch. I guess I guess this is April's voice, everyone. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's no, yours. You're Steve. No, I'm not Steve. Steve. You play Steve. Do I? Oh, I play Steve. I do his internal I, monologue. You're right. Like the reverse of what we're doing here. Yes. So it's basically your voice. Remember? Oh yeah. Just okay. with like sass, but yeah. he's not so sass anymore. Well, so yeah, I guess, he's mellowed out. I guess you need to sound like a mellow version like of the your narrator, voice. narrator, then. Yeah. The name's Steve. I'm not exactly a Fairbrook resident either, so I know how it feels to be the outsider. So he was just a little phlegmy. Yeah, before. sorry. Yeah, it's Flem. cold out. <laughs> Steve, the sound, the name sounds familiar. You have pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me another or a word that uh, starts with F. A steak. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Susanna and Jacob were talking about you last night. You're from Los Angeles, right? Sure am. I drove. I drive up here to see my uncle as often as I can. He had a heart attack last summer, oh. so he hasn't been able to do much work on the farm anymore. Like a spoiler for the other guy. I don't hope not. Um, shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> Close up shop. <laughs> it's nice of you to come help. It's the least I can do. He's like a father to me. Because my father is a shitlord. <laughs> oh, you're f is your father gone? Steve grins wryly. He's not dead, if that's what you mean. But he's never really been there for me. Oh, we're trying to make it good now. <laughs> but it's awkward, you know? <laughs> he pauses for a moment to shift the weight of the box in his arms. It's heavy. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll all work out in time. What about your parents? What are they like? Um... I don't know much about them. Just that she had to get a job. Let's say they're very strict. Okay. They're strict. Like, really strict. I think they're mad at me for not being more mature and stuff. <laughs> hmm. That sounds a little familiar. I used to be like that, and then I stopped sucking. Actually... Stop sucking. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it was their idea for me to get a job. I guess they want me to learn responsibility or something. Now that definitely sounds familiar. Yeah. Wait, so... So Steve never ended up with anyone from the first game. <laughs> <gasps> no! Well, no, he's probably going to, and this is like an alternate... Alternate reality. ...thing, yeah. <clears throat> I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly, Natalie. And whatnot. <laughs> I am sure, hope so. Maybe she eats with Julie. Maybe, with, we haven't met her Julie? yet. Well, she was at, from L.A. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't it... Am I forgetting what her name was? Jill. 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 Sure? Yeah. Jill? Maybe he's with Jill. Maybe. And they're okay. Oh, sorry! <laughs> oh, no! Go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd read that line. I'm, I'm I might have. <laughs> um, I'm actually not sure. I kind of sent them a rushed email, but I don't know what they wrote back. It's probably he was like, and you're okay with Yeah. They're okay with they're okay coming with that. here. Why don't you ask Susanna if you can borrow her computer? You have Wi-Fi here? Oh, um, I don't think Susanna likes me very much right now. He grins. She doesn't like anyone. Did you get that new natural foods lecture? Well, yes, but I also slept in this morning, and so far I haven't actually been much of a help at all. Oh, then we better get you back to the shop as quickly as we can. He's, his steps quicken, and I hurry to catch up. He kicks her in the door. <laughs> Punches her in the door. <laughs> yes, 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 he's the puncher. <laughs> he just punches her square in the back <laughs> between the shoulder blades. When we arrive at the shop, he places the box back in my arms. Well, I actually came into town to pick up something from the store, so I'll be going now. He smiles and waves. Laters. If you ever want to hang out sometime, just drive down the main road until you get to, get to the big farmhouse. We don't eat people. That's, what I'm, that's where I'm staying. I swear. Yeah. Cool. I'm sure I'll take you up on the offer. See you around, Natalie. See ya. I turn to face the front door of the shop. I sure hope Susanna isn't still mad at me. She probably is. With a deep breath, I push the door and open and enter. Natalie, I'm glad you're back. I was wondering if... Susanna stopped short at the sight of the large box in my hands. You already got it? You mean the package for you at the general store? I smile proudly. She looks perturbed. It's all here. <clears throat> Susanna looks relieved. Thank you. I lay it on the ground carefully. What's in it anyway? Packing materials for shipping out the flowers. 
I special order biodegradable packaging made from recycled products. Of course she does. Why am I not surprised? Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to grow the flowers first before you can pack them. I'll show you how to pack the flowers right now, and we'll worry about growing them tomorrow. Wait, it's that fast? Ooh, a plot! <gasps> we have a greenhouse! <laughs> Susanna hands me an apron, and I tie it around my neck. I follow her through the greenhouse, and she shows me the steps that it takes to arrange and package the flowers. She's actually tying it around her neck to make a noose. I want a game. Oh, is there a game in this? I'm gonna guess. Where's the game? We'll read that, and <laughs> it, then we'll see. It looks simple when she does it, but I find myself slipping up quite a bit as I try to remember all the rules she set out. Dig a hole, plant a flower. No, this is packing. This is packing. Oh, pack. Oh, I'm what sorry, Kenny. Mini game. I'm sorry, Kenny. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Susanna places a hand gently on my shoulder. Ooh, lesbian ending. You'll learn. You said yourself that you're a fast learner. I oh, was... were you lying? I, I was fibbing. <laughs> I'm mendacious. Yeah, I didn't say that. No, she did. She. Oh, I did say yeah. that. Sorry, I'm <laughs> derpy, too. You can buy seedlings from the general store. I'll give you a little bit of money for that. It's your shop. Is it, am, I, am I working for her? <laughs> no, apparently you're just going to take over the shop. The door to the flower shop swings open and Susanna beams. We finished just in time. Hi, is everything ready? It is. Natalie was a big help. That's good. Jacob glances in my direction with a small smile. Natalie, could you help Jacob carry the flowers out to the van? Huh? Oh, sure. I grab the nearest package. Lead the way, Jacob. Not oh, God, Jacob, right. stop it. Ser stop. 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 Pretty soon he's going to need to, like, carry a folder in front of him. <laughs> Jacob picks up a large package in both arms and heads through the door. With some effort, he manages to wrestle the door open by pushing the handle down with his elbow. He swings it open and looks back at me. After you. <laughs> well, you're a true gentleman, aren't, aren't you? Didn't we cover this? Sorry! This feels like a retread. <laughs> he blushes. She's like, I'm just going to keep saying it until you stop blushing. <laughs> Not really. It's just the nice thing to do, isn't it? I guess so. It's like, well, I wouldn't do it for anybody. <laughs> but... <laughs> he trails after me as I walk to the van. I load the box into the back. Are you the driver? I turn to him as we head back into the shop. Of course I am. I grab another package and we walk back into the cold. Really? How old are you? Jacob <clears throat> places his box of flowers gently in the back seat. Seventeen. What? You look like you're twelve or something. Oh, Natalie. Screw you. <laughs> he looks at the ground. You don't really have to shout it like that. He turns away quickly and hurries back into the shop. I race after him. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that you look so young. You take care of your skin. As I enter the shop, he walks past me quickly. Eyes focus straight ahead. His cheeks are bright red. They need to stop saying that if they're not going to make them red. I grab a box and run back to the van. Okay, I exaggerated. You look more like 14 or 15. He turns... as. He turns an even deeper shade of red. Okay, I guess that wasn't the most comforting thing in the world. It's like, okay, you look like you're 60. Jacob shuts the back door of the van and climbs into the driver's seat. Jacob, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's okay, Natalie. I'm used to being treated like a kid. You sound like Teddy. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> he swings the door open and sh starts the van. I stand in the snow, watching as the van rumbles slowly down the main street of Fairbrook. I think I really mm. touched a nerve there. With a long sigh, I trudge back into the flower shop. Natalie, I just wanted to... Susanna stares at me. Did something happen? She looks worried. Yeah, I told Jacob he looks really young, and I think he got angry. Susanna smiles softly. I see. He hates me now. He doesn't hate you, Natalie. He's just struggling. Struggling? Jacob's cousin, or Jacob's the youngest of five children, and that's not counting all of his cousins. He's always been the baby of the family, despite being the one who works the hardest. He's just trying to find his own identity, free from what other people think of him. 
He idolizes anyone who has a lot of determination, but I couldn't hurt to be, er, couldn't hurt to be empathetic to his situation as well. The best you can do is treat him like a young man, not a child. I guess. Hey, I have a question. Oh, there's the alarm. That? Yeah, we could leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? No, let's see what the question is. Yes? Why are you so nice? I mean, why aren't you still mad at me for yesterday and this morning? I didn't think that she had changed her mind at all. Honestly, no. I didn't get that. Susanna blinks for a moment in surprise. Natalie, anger is an unhealthy emotion, and it clouds your judgment. Are you going to kill someone someday? <laughs> It's suitable for certain situations, but it's never right to cling to it. I see. Besides, you'll do your best from now on, won't you? Um, yeah. At least I'll try to, not, or I'll try not to sleep so much, in so much. It's a start. Oh, I almost forgot. Can I borrow your computer real quick? For what? I need to see if my parents responded to my email. Better. She's like, are you going to find my red folder? <laughs> you can't call them? Um, my parents turned off my phone service after I got some bad grades on the midterms. Don't we have a house phone? Mm, <laughs> no, apparently she doesn't have a house Go phone. Go to Steve. He has a house phone. Apparently there isn't, there is service out here, just not yeah. out at the farm. Let's see. Oh, Susanna looks puzzled. I see? Anyway, it'll be real quick. Santa points to the small desk tucked away behind the shelf near the back of the shop. Don't spend too long. I'm going to prepare dinner now, and I suggest you get some rest before it's ready. Sure, thanks. Okay, so this can be the cliffhanger. What okay. did her parents think of moving to Fairbrook for bum, the winter? Bum, bum. They probably hate it and yeah. hate her. Or like, you can stay. You can stay there forever. Stay out in Fairbrook. Loser. Oh, we saved in the flower shop last time. Yep. In that beauty pool. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna stretch right now. Ugh. So, so, thank you so much to all of you, and um, I would, as always, I would love it if you were able to give this, well, if you decided to give this episode <laughs> a <laughs> like, um, or a dislike, if you are so inclined. Um, and also maybe a favorite and a share if you're feeling so inclined. And tell your friends, tell your family. Yes, tell your, tell your mom, <laughs> tell your brothers, tell your sisters. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you could also leave a comment, I love hearing from you. And you're all amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone.